In this video, you will learn which Arabic dialect you should learn and which one is the most understood around the Arab world. I spoke to Arabs from every single country. So we together can listen to their differences in their dialects and I'll help you choose which one to learn. And no, I am not Arab, so I'm not biased to any of those dialects. I know I have a beard and a turban, but I'm just an African Spanish dude who learned classical Arabic, not dialects, but classical Arabic until becoming fluent. Mohammed <laughs> Andalusi here, founder of Andalus Institute.com. According to researches, there are around 30 different dialects in the Arabic language nowadays, uh, including the Standard Arabic, or better known as MSA, MSA, Modern Standard Arabic, which is basically modernized classical Arabic. Uh, this term is mostly used by Western linguists, but amongst the Arab, they just call it Al Arabi Al Fusha, the classic or the eloquent Arabic which is the Arabic that you can find in the Quran, the Arabic that you can find in the Hadith of the Prophet, the original one, basically. So this type of Arabic is the, the liturgical language of the religion of Islam, meaning, you know, the language where you can find most texts and most religious activities, uh, you know, related to, to Islam. So if you are a practicing Muslim and you intend to learn Arabic to better understand your religion and to get closer to Allah, then, you know, without a doubt that the Arabic that you need to focus on is the classical Fusha uh, Arabic, the original one. And forget about all of these dialects and, you know, colloquial languages, unless you live in an Arab country, you want to learn the, you know, local language in order to better understand uh, the people out there and better connect with them and better just, just feel more comfortable basically in the country. Because the reality is that there is no Arab country right now where you will go to the streets, speak this language and, and people see it as normal. It's mostly used in the media, in the university, in the school, in books, in the news, in the newspapers as well, but not in the streets. You will actually be looked at strangely, if you go to the streets in, in an Arab country, start speaking Fusha, or it would just sound like, why are you huh? talking like the people on the news? So the reality is that most Arabs nowadays, if they have a minimum amount of education, they still understand it. I, I cannot guarantee you that they will be able to speak it and be able to get rid of their dialect, uh, but they will understand most of them. So if you are interested in the Arab culture, or, you know, your family in law, for example, they are Arab and you want to learn conversational Arabic to better communicate with them. Uh, or you would like to find a work in an Arab country or something like that. Then the question is, which Arabic dialect, which type of Arabic should I learn? So first, let's listen to all the different Arabic dialects and let's compare them with the Arabic Fusha, the classical one, the original one. And we are going to start looking at this map right here. We are going to start from the west going all the way to the east. So we have Mauritania, Morocco, Algeria, Tunis, Libya, Egypt, Sudan, uh, Syria, Palestine, uh, Palestine uh, Saudi, Iraq, UAE, you have Qatar in, in very little, Oman and Yemen. So all of them are going to say exactly the same thing, which is, Assalamu Alaikum, my name is, I am from and this is how my Arabic dialect sounds. Today, I woke up and ate breakfast with my family in the kitchen. Okay, in classical Arabic, you will say, Assalamu alaikum, it's me, Muhammad, and I'm in Espania. And this is the sound of the language that I'm talking about. Today, I was in the morning and I was with my family in the kitchen. Okay, so every time you hear them say something, this is what they say. In. Okay. So let's start with Mauritania. Ana smi Muhammad jay min Mauritania. Ana Mauritani wa lahjati ismuha al-Hasaniya wa tishab al-Dhanna. Liyum u'ayt mshayt ustabhat fi cuisine ma'ayti. He says tabhat o ismi 
And to be honest, most of the most of it, it was classical. It was quite classical, but it's very tricky because you know everyone has an accent, so you need to make the difference in between the dialect and the accent. So, uh, so this is Mauritania. Let's see Morocco. Hello, my name is Smith Abdullah Idrisi. أنا أسكن كنت سكن في في مدينة فاس بالمغرب وهذه هي الدارجة المغربية هاد الصباح هذا فقس و... وكليت الفطور مع العائلة نتاعي Moroccan dialect الدارجة I think that behind the scenes I was speaking to to all of them and and ask, asking them which one do they think is the hardest and most of them they say that الدارجة المغربية the, the the Moroccan dialect is the most difficult one to understand and I do agree with that because I understand pretty much all of the dialects, me as a non-Arab having learned classical Arabic. And, but when it comes to Moroccan dialect, it's very difficult to understand. However, um, this sentence is quite simple. So, so it was still understood. All right, Algerian. Assalamu alaikum. My name is I'm from Algeria. I'm وهكذا هكذا اللهجه تاعنا اليوم صباح نط حكمت بتي ديجوني مع 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 فاميليا مع دارنا اوكي هي هي واز اي ثينك هي واز اكسجيري ا ليتل بيت اي دونت ثينك هي سبيكس لايك ذات نورمالي بوت ميبي بيكوز هي واز ان فرونت اوف ذا كاميرا بوت اتس ترو ذات ذا لايك ذا ميلودي ذات ذي هاف ذا الجيريانز اند ذا موروكانز از ويل ذي جو لايك انا من الجزائر من العاصمه كذا 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 وهاك ذيس از هاو يو نو ذيس ميلودي ذات جوز اب اند داون لكم انا عبد العزيز انا انا عبد العزيز انا من مستقاليم وهذه هي لهجتي الجزائريه اليوم نوت وكليت شويه ماكله مع دار ناو هاو وي جو فروم ذا كلاسيك عربيك استيقظت او يو نو يعني قمت من النوم الى نوت اليوم نوت نوت وكليت like that's what he said I woke up نوت okay so you know that's just dialects السلام عليكم انا وليد الاحمر انا تونسي هكا كيفاش نحكي اللغه العربيه الدارجيه نتاعنا على التونسه يعني سو so, اليوم في الصباح قمت وقريت فطور الصباح مع امي وبابا في الكوزينه a lot of french you know some french in there he started saying donc french already so you know, very canalized by French, which in 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 Al Jazair and Al Maghreb as well, but uh, but they didn't say they didn't say any any French word. Petit déjeuner. So to keep in mind, all the countries that we have been over right now, colonized by by French, so their dialect it has a lot of French words. Assalamu alaikum. Ismi Khadija. I'm from Libya. أنا بكلم عربي بلهجة ليبية. اليوم صحيت وأكلت فطور في الكوجينة مع أهلي. اليوم صحيت وأكلت فطور في الكوجينة. Okay, so this is this is, this is uh, Italian. So as we see, you know, from the dialects, colonization does work, does uh, does affect a lot how they speak in different Arab countries. السلام عليكم أنا اسمي عدنان. أنا من ليبيا وهذه اللهجة بتاعي اليوم الصبح فقت بدري وفطرت مع أهلي في المطبخ. So he's from Libya as well. However, he said مطبخ, as in kitchen in Arabic. السلام عليكم أنا اسمي بلال خالد وأنا من من القاهرة. ده اللهجة دي اللهجة بتاعتي مصرية. صحيت النهاردة وفطرت مع أهلي في المطبخ. So very interesting. Egyptians belong to Egyptian only. Belong to Egyptian only. They don't say, they don't pronounce the letter Jim. I am sorry, I don't speak very good. From from one is is an Arabic letter. Instead of saying Jim, they say Gim. So that's why he said lag. He said lag lagha. Or what did he say? Shut up. Stop. Al Muhammad he doesn't pronounce Jim. So instead of saying لج, uh, لهجة, he say لهجة, لهجة. طيب, now let's go to Sudan. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm from Sudan, Khartoum. 
الدايلكت بتاعنا في السودان بطريقه شويه مختلفه عن العربي بتاع البلاد الثانيه لكن في الاخر لسه مفهوم ليله الصباح صحيت بدري وقعدت مع اهلي واكلت معهم فطور كده على الخفيف قبل ما امرق سو ذيس واز لونج بيكوز هي واز لايك ادين ادين اوف ستاف هاوفا السودان Egyptian and Sudanese very close F- in between them. And I will say as well, if you get used to it, very close from classical Arabic as well. However, I will go as far as saying that Sudan, their dialect is closer from the classical Arabic. It's closer from the classical Arabic. You guys let me know in the comment section, mainly if you are Egyptian, because I know you are Egyptians. I'll be, you'll be defending yourself Shut up. like crazy. So let me know in the comments. أنا مالك وأنا من اليمن وهذه لهجة اليمنية اليوم أنا قمت و... واستبحت مع عائلتي ما شاء الله لا اليمن اليمن this type of of turban that I have today guys is the Yemeni style and uh, and I love Yemen and I love as well one particular thing about the dialect the way how they say the قف they say أنا أنا قمت قمت it's almost like a, a in between a غا And a ja. So they say, and I go to go to Sabah, Liob, Sabah, to in their the way how they speak, like in comparison, for example, with with Tunis, I mean, with uh, with Jazair, you see how he said, Min la asima, like it's very like, oh, but in El Yemen, it's very like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> if you guys get what I'm trying to say. So that's very interesting as well. Now we go to Saudi and you will see that in Saudi is, is the opposite. They are very like, oh, in Yemen, it's eh, eh, eh. Saudi, oh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ah, ma'akum Muhammad al-Ghanimi. Ana min Jidda. Ah, hadi lahjatna ahal Jidda. Nahna bnitkallam zay kida. Ah, al-yom sahit al-sabah wa aftart ma'a al-ahal fil matbaq. So maybe because he was young. And you guys didn't, and it didn't, it wasn't congruent with what I said. But Saudis, they tend to be like very, Ah, oh boy, assalamu alaykum. Ah, oh, ah, boy, ta'ala. Hayag Allah, hayag Allah. This, this is from my experience. You guys let me know in the comments. Assalamu alaykum wa Allah. Ismi Alawiya. Amri 22 sana. Min Oman. Iliyom, qamtu fatart ma'a ahli fil matbakh. Oman. Very straight to the point. Pretty much. Pretty much very close from Arabic. And that's one important thing to mention, guys. The closer we get to... But it's difficult to say, though. Because Mauritania, he used a lot of... And I am actually Mauritania right now. And they use a lot of classical Arabic words. But the, the closer... I would say that the closer you get from, from Saudi Arabia and Yemen and the Arabic Peninsula, the more classical... the Arabic becomes a more clear to my, to my ear, me knowing only classical Arabic. I only know classical Arabic, and I understand pretty much from my classical Arabic a lot of different dialects. And I would say that the ones that I understand the most is the ones that are the closest from the Arab- Arabian Peninsula. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Yahya, and I live in Dubai. وهذه هي رمستنا هنا في دبي اليوم نشيت من رقاد الساعة سبع الصبح وتريقت يا أهلي في المطبخ Now Dubai These brothers from the UAE I don't know what to say man He said a few words ترك تريقت و رمستنا و I didn't get it to be honest with you guys السلام ورحمة الله أنا اسمي محمد القحطاني من قطر وهذه الطريقة اللي نتكلم فيها هنا اليوم قمت من نوم تريقت He said the same thing. <laughs> so Qatar and UAE very close, so it makes sense that they pretty much say the same thing. I like how he said Qatar, Qatar, Qatar. I'm from Qatar instead of saying Qatar. I'm from Qatar. I'm Ibrahim. I'm from Bahrain. And this is the way I talk about it. Today, I came from the night and ate the food with my family. And ate. Mashallah. Uh, Bahrain, very close as well from the UAE. I would say, yeah, you know, they have their own way of saying things. Instead of akaltu, 
or akalt, akalat. You see, in, in Saudi Arabia, as well, they say instead of saying ilm, they say ilm. Assalamu alaikum, ismi Rabian, wa ani min al Iraq. Wahaya hiya la hijti al Iraqiya. Aliyom, gaad min al nom, wa tarayan get wi aalti. The way the Iraqi speaks is very like heavy, like very Arab. You see, like. I'm in the Iraq, like, <laughs> like he pronounced every single word, every single letter, like very strongly. I'm Ahmed, from Syria, and this is the sound of my voice. Today, I ate food with my You see, when it comes to 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 Syria and like all the sham, is a little bit more like like sweeter. You see, like. It's sweeter, like you guys will see from from the next few countries, uh, Jordan and and Palestine is like very. They say a eh, like كيف حال كيف حالك كيف حالك إيه you see <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Assalamualaikum, this is Faris. I'm from Jordan. Olahjuti, zehek. Today in the morning, I ate a salad with and again, like a fakat, he pretty much used, like, you know, in this case, Urdun and Palestine being very close. Again, they use a lot of words. A, a lot of the same words. The last one, Lebanon, Lebanon. Assalamu alaikum, Ismi Ali, and I'm from Lebanon. And this is the Arab from Lebanon. Today, I'm in the morning and I'm in the morning. Same words, forget, forget, forget. Today, I'm in the morning and So this was all the different dialects. So as you've seen, there are a few differences. Uh, they pronounce certain words differently. Some don't pronounce certain letters and pronounce, pronounce other letters instead. But what we know for sure is that if you know the classical Arabic language, all of these dialects, they become easy to understand. So if you are someone who wants to learn the Arabic language for whatever, uh, you know, regardless of the reason, I would say go ahead and learn the basics. Uh, you know, meaning learn the Fusha Arabic, the original one, the classical one, the one that is closer from MSA. If you were to try and learn the dialect first, it would be like trying to cook a meal when you don't even know how to cook an omelet or an egg or trying to get your PhD when you don't even have your high school diploma yet. Or to put it in a simpler manner is like trying to learn English slang when you don't even know the correct one yet. So I myself being... Um, my mother tongue Spanish, the first one. I learned Arabic from scratch, and I'm now I pretty much understand all of these dialects. So, if you are interested in learning Arabic, regardless of the reason, um, I would invite you to watch and check out a presentation that I put together. You can find the link down below, uh, and I will walk you through how I went from from zero to fluent and how you can do it in 15 months, inshallah, and give you the plan, the, the, you know, the game plan, and you can as well get this book right here that I've put together, uh, you can get it, oops, <laughs> you guys seen the, what was holding it, but you guys can get uh, this book, which is something I've put together, uh, as you guys can see, it's pretty thick, and, um, and it's basically, you can get it in digital form, and it's the game plan on how to become fluent. So until here, guys, I want to see the real loyal viewers, man, in the comments down below. So I want you to comment something very specific to show me that you are a loyal viewer. What I want you to comment is Arabic dialects, Arabic dialects. Comment this down below so I can see who is the real viewers, because there's a lot of people, to be honest, that they... Based on the analytics, there's like 70% of people who watch this and they not even subscribe. So just keep in mind, guys, keep in mind, guys that any, none of my videos are monetized. Uh, you know, I don't get anything from you watching other than you supporting me. It gives me that boost to keep going and keep creating content 
to get closer and closer from my objective and my vision in life and my mission, which is to teach Arabic to a thousand people. And you guys help me in that and share the reward with me, which is the most important thing, as the Prophet Sallallahu said, uh, whoever leads someone to good, he will get the same reward as the person who is doing that good. With that being said, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Comment down below Arabic dialects and I'll see you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Kitab habahu Allahu khayra lugatihi fa ayyu jalal fawq thalika yudhkaru wa ya man tura yukhfi mahasinaha wa qad sara bi mazayaha al kitab al mutahharu sara bi mazayaha al kitab al mutahharu